using pressure pads. The Microtech Informer and Informer Deluxe can be used with most Stanley pressure pads. Options include the patent-pending Time to Bed and Chair pads in the 45-day, 180-day, and one-year models. Moisture-resistant bed and chair pads can also be used in the 45-day and 90-day varieties. There are also special coiled chair pads in the 90-day and one-year models. These pads help prevent the pad cord from being tangled in the wheels or other moving parts of a wheelchair. There are also standard bed pads and extra-wide bed pads available. For purposes of demonstration, I will use a wide one-year bed pad with the Microtech Informer Deluxe model 92030. This pad, like all Stanley pads, can be cleaned with most common cleaners, but should not be immersed in any liquid. They also should not be used beyond their rated lifespans and are intended for single resident use. The choice of which pad to use will vary from resident to resident. A thin bed pad might be applicable to a person who is not mobile or restless in bed, whereas a wide pad might be more advantageous to monitor a restless or more cognitively alert resident. Every bed will have sheets on it and perhaps a wetness liner. When you place the Stanley timed one-year pad onto the bed, you should place it under the sheets or wetness liner, but always on top of the mattress. The pad should be positioned across the bed and be under the buttocks area. Do not place the pad vertically down the center of the bed. The pad should only be used with a person weighing at least 65 pounds, otherwise the pad may not operate properly. Once the pad is in position, replace the sheets back onto the bed. If you are using one of the standard narrow pads, place the pad across the top of the mattress, but under the sheets, mattress cover, and incontinence pads. Using the bands and clips provided, loop one end of the band through a hole on the pad and stretch them out. Lay the pad flat across the bed and use the clips to securely fasten the pad to the bed frame. Run the cord along the mattress and bed frame. Be careful not to allow the cord to get in the way of any moving parts of the bed. Take the end of the cord with the telephone type connector and plug it into the bottom of the Microtech Informer Deluxe labeled pad. Listen for the mechanical click to make sure it is securely attached. Next, loop the cord and place it through the strain relief prong on the bottom of the informer. Place the monitor on the headboard so it faces the wall away from the resident. Remember to place it to the left or right of the resident's head, not directly behind it. The system is now ready to go. Anytime you prepare a fall monitor system for a resident, you must test it to make sure it operates properly, sounding an alarm in the room. Place your hand on the pad and press down. The Microtech Informer will beep to indicate the pad has sensed the weight. When you take your hand off of the pad, the monitor will go into alarm and confirm that the system is working. If the patient lies back down or self-corrects after setting the monitor into alarm, the monitor will reset itself. If the resident gets out of bed and you have to reset the alarm, simply press both buttons on the sides of the monitor simultaneously to silence the alarm. If you are using a Microtech Informer to monitor a resident in a wheelchair, you have an array of options, including the patent-pending timed chair and standard pads in the 45-day, 180-day, and one-year models. Moisture-resistant chair pads can also be used in the 45-day and 90-day varieties. 
There are also special coiled chair pads in the 90-day and one-year models. These pads help prevent the pad cord from being tangled in the wheels or other moving parts of a wheelchair. For purposes of this demonstration, I will use a one-year chair pad, model 83700. This pad, like all Stanley pads, can be cleaned with most common cleaners, but should not be immersed in any liquid. They also should not be used beyond their rated lifespans and are intended for single resident use. When you are ready to put the pad on the chair, position it in the center across the chair. Take the end of the pad cord and fish it through the back of the chair or around the side, depending on the chair's construction. To help protect the pad, you can cover it with a pillowcase or an incontinence pad. The pad should only be used with a person weighing at least 65 pounds, otherwise the pad may not operate properly. Take the other end of the cord with the telephone type connector and plug it into the bottom of the Microtech Informer monitor labeled pad. Listen for the mechanical click to make sure it is securely attached. To prevent damage to the wire or connector, bend a short piece of the pad cord through the strain relief prong on the bottom of the monitor next to the pad cord plug-in. Using the spring clip on the back of either the Informer or Informer Deluxe, pull it open slightly and slip the monitor onto the back of the wheelchair. Remember to place the monitor to the left or right of the resident's head, not directly behind it. The basic system is ready to go. Anytime you prepare a fall monitoring system for a resident, you must test it to make sure it operates properly. Place your hand on the pad and press down. The Microtech Informer will beep to indicate the pad has sensed the weight. When you take your hand off the pad, the monitor will go into alarm and confirm the system is working. If the resident sits back down or self-corrects after setting the monitor into alarm, the monitor will reset itself. If the resident gets out of the chair and you have to reset the alarm, simply press both reset buttons simultaneously.